One of the challenges you'll find with selecting an object that matches its background is that the selection tool, such as the magic wand, will pick up a portion of the object and often a portion of the background. You can see with the selection here that it's selected by color. So certain parts are selected while others aren't. If I were to copy this object right now and go to a new document with the image from the clipboard, you would see that that, in fact, is what I had selected. When I look at this puppy and I think I want to put him on this dock, I certainly don't want to put that on the dock. So I head back to my puppy and I look at the other tools that we've got. After we do the magic wand selection, perhaps we want to select something else. We're going to try and get the biggest area we can selected without going over our selection. I'll just accept that. We want to get to the edge of our puppy. One of the ways that we can is using this selection brush. That'll allow us to go to the edge. We want to get pretty close to the edge we want. We can refine it a little bit more with another tool in a minute. Another way to do that is to enlarge our brush. Perhaps this is closer to the size we want. And maybe we'll save us some time. We don't want to go too large with our brush selection. Otherwise the time saved will actually not be as much as if we had just been careful because of all the excess like this. Another thing we can do is we can use the control key and a plus and we can zoom in a little bit so that we can make a better selection. And as we go close to the edge, we can get rid of any excess and I can make a large enlargement here with the tool and I can go in clean up all of this center area so that it's all a single selection and keeping the size of the brush the same doesn't usually work very much so we do need to go back and forth probably with a different size brush depending on how particular our object is and how distinct our lines are and how good of a job the magic wand did. So once again, I am in the selection brush and I'm going to still use this larger size to get around the edge of the puppy here and use it. I can just clean up this area and I can see I've got a little bit of the tail left to do. This is pretty close and I'm going to accept that for now. I've missed little portions. You want to make sure you try and get all the portions you can. Now in some areas I've also probably selected a little bit more than I wanted to. So as soon as I'm done adding, I'm going to try subtracting. But first I have a little bit more to add here on the tail so that I don't end up with a puppy that has a tail that's a stub tail unless that's what I want. Now I've selected a pretty good amount of the puppy. I'm going to subtract some areas now. I don't have to be perfect on this, I just want to be close because my refinement tool will help me to be more accurate without the difficulty of the mouse. It's very hard to select without zooming in to this level, the pixel level, which we could do, but you can imagine how long it would take to be going through it adding or subtracting by the pixel. So the next option then that we want to explore is the refine selection brush. So I'm going to zoom back out. That's control key plus minus. That's control key with the minus key. You can see that I can use the up and down or I can scroll up and down with the mouse here. And that's how I can move up and down my picture without using my scroll bar. Go over to my refine tool. And you can see the background right now is a salmon color. If I wish to change it to something else for a better contrast, so I can make sure I get all of those pixels, you certainly can select any other color that you wish. You also, if you wish, you could just put it on black or put it on white. But you can imagine if I put it on white, 
Right now it wouldn't assist at all. So I'll go back to the overlay and the refine tool. And now I've got a large circle. It's 10 pixels wide that gives me the ability to refine this edge even though I'm not exactly perfect, it will take care of that edge for me. So perfection isn't needed, just getting close. Photoshop Shop does a pretty good job of selecting where that edge should be. Sometimes it's a little fuzzy, and yet, in the case of a pet, a little bit of fuzzy edge is a lot more natural than a hard edge. So we'll go through this area. And I like to select only so far, otherwise I find that I can't use my mouse continually and I have to go back and redo something. So I'll just select a, a bit instead of a, the entire animal. I'll try to do it in small chunks. I don't want that sky selected either wasn't actually sky, but I don't want a little white part showing up above the puppy's head. Because anything I don't color in this, whatever color I've chosen for a background here, will come with my puppy. So trying to get that white out of there is going to be a bit of a challenge there. I might actually want to switch back to this and subtract. You could also, if you found some area that you needed to, you could add at this point. So let's flip back to our refine tool, and if it's like we like, it's pretty close. I can see there's one little area here I'd like to refine, maybe a little bit. And then I can copy, because this area is selected. So I've been selecting this whole time and refining the area of my selection. So I'm going to subtract here a little bit here in the puppies. Add a little bit to where I couldn't fit in very well. And let's see what happens then. When I go up to edit and copy, my goal then was to put this puppy on the dock. So I've copied it, gone to my other picture here. I'm going to use the control minus, zoom out, and now I'm going to paste. I could also use the control plus V. So control plus V. Now my puppy is sitting there, but I really would like to move him. He doesn't look very natural. So I go up to my selection tool. And I move my puppy to a more natural position. He's a little bit too big probably for that canoe. He's not that kind of a dog that's so huge. So that makes that a nice finished product. If I wish to add a shadow or anything later, we can do that. But for right now, we've added the brown and white puppy exactly like we want him to another picture and made a nice com composite. We can put these two pictures together now by going to layer and flattening the image. Now we have one image, the puppy is stuck. And 